Welcome to Armax, a business unit of the Sika Corporation, building trust since 1978. In this video, we'll go over the installation of the RSEAL 2000 LF at the washers. Adjacent boards come together to form a tightly butted vertical joint secured with a screw and washer that needs to be sealed with Armax 2000 LF. Once the boards are secured, use a clean rag to quickly wipe off any dust at and around the washer where the 2000 LF will be applied. This is also a good opportunity to remove any stray pieces of aluminum facer that might have been created by cutting the board. Apply a bead of sealant centered along the joint starting above the washer, over the center of the washer and beyond by a couple of inches. Then add a bead around the perimeter of the washer. The size of the bead will vary by person, but roughly a half inch bead should work. The final size of the sealant at the washer needs to be at least 30 mils thick or about the thickness of a credit card. The 2000 LF needs to cover the entire washer plus at least three quarters of an inch onto the insulation board all the way around the washer. Use a flat plastic putty knife to knock down the 2000 LF around the washer using a circular motion with the knife held at 45 degrees to the insulation board and angled away from the washer. This angled, circular motion will create a shape that is thinner at the outside edges and thicker in the middle. After the outer sealant bead is spread to three quarters of an inch beyond the washer, tool the inner sealant with a knife. Starting about an inch above the washer, hold the sealant down over the washer and beyond the washer. The edge of the sealant needs to be feathered because it is important to reduce the collection of water along the edge of the sealant. Knock down the bead as quickly as possible before skin over or partial curing occurs. Skin over will happen quicker in warmer and more humid weather. Avoid retooling the material as it may lead to clumps, surface tears, defects, pinholes and reduce the overall quality of the seal. After the 2000 LF has been tooled and shaped, the depth of the material must be verified. Locate the edge of the wet mill thickness gauge that indicates 30 mils. In multiple locations, press that edge of the gauge through the sealant until it contacts the rigid foam insulation or the plastic washer. The gauge should be perpendicular to the surface or 90 degrees to the washer or board. Do not damage the facer by forcing the gauge into the insulation. Wait several seconds, then remove the gauge and identify the wet teeth of the gauge. The largest tooth that is wet is the thickness of the 2000 LF at that location. With the knife, smooth the surface where the thickness gauge was inserted. Clean the gauge for the next check. If the material is less than 30 mils, apply more sealant following the steps described to ensure at least 30 mils is installed in the full width. Regularly check the thickness of the material to reduce callbacks or repairs. Next, confirm the width of the tooled sealant. Using a suitable tool, measure the width where the sealant is at least 30 mils thick. The washer must be fully covered and the width must be at least 3 quarters of an inch beyond the washer all the way around. If needed, add material, make adjustments or corrections to ensure proper width and thickness. With both the thickness and width verified, review the sealant to ensure that there are no pinholes in the sealant. If there are, re-smooth the joint sealant. Thank you for using Armax, a business unit of the Sika Corporation.